Hello YouTube and welcome to my awesome blackness channel, or ABC for short. My name is Mighty, and on this platform, I'm going to explore the awesomeness of our black people. That's right, whether you're big or small, celebrity or civilian, anywhere in the world, if you're awesome, you're featured here. And for this video, my subject is going to be Surya Bonnelly. Honestly, I came upon Miss Bonnelly by happenstance. I was lost in a binge fest of Netflix shows when I happened upon a docu-series called The Losers. And there she was in episode 3, and I was transfixed. For so many reasons, her story spoke to me, and it was a no-brainer that she needed to be next up. See, hers was a tale of an unconventional beginning to defying all kinds of barriers presented by society in general and standing on the merits of her natural talent and even bucking those who wanted to harness her powers. Kinda like, but, right? And she really does have magical superpowers. After all, Mona Lee is the only Olympic figure skater to land a backflip on one blade. She performed it at the 1998 Winter Olympics in Nagano, Japan. That unorthodox move done in a competition where she wound up placing fourth may be what defines her, but she indeed has a history of moments which preceded it, as explained below. Born in Nice, France on the 15th of December 1973, Surya Bonnelly is a French former competitive figure skater. She's a three-time world silver medalist, a five-time European champion, the 1991 World Junior Champion, and a nine-time French National Champion. Initially named Claudine, she was adopted at 18 months by Suzanne and Georges Bonnelly, who gave her the name Surya. Suzanne worked as a physical education teacher and Georges as an architect for the government. The couple initially told the media that their daughter had been born on the island of Reunion because they thought this origin sounded more exotic. When Surya approached the age of 18 and began researching her birth history, her parents admitted that Surya's biological mother had been from the island but that Surya herself had not been born there. Dider Gallihoget, who was Bonnelly's first coach of her competitive career, admitted fabricating the story because he thought it would interest the press. Bonnelly was originally a competitive gymnast. She began skating as an 11-year-old in Nice in 1985 before relocating to Paris. Earlier media reports said that Gallihoget discovered Bonnelly at a public session, but years later, she said that she had wanted to skate in Gigahertz competitive skating group and actually asked to participate. She broke both wrists before learning how to fall properly. Again, my discovery of Ms. Bonnelly was in a Netflix series where they go deeper into her life than this video will allow, so I highly suggest you all check it out. But a brief synopsis states that she appeared in the episode entitled Judgment of the 2019 Netflix documentary series that explored the lives of heroic individuals who bounced back from lost or perceived failure. In Bonnelly's case, the episode focused on her defiance, longevity on the ice, and refusal to submit to conventions. I don't get why she was on a series called The Losers when all I've seen from her is winning, which is why what makes her awesome is apparent. She was everything right that was in what was considered the wrong package. See, figure skating is more about being the right figure over the technique of your skating. And Miss Bonnelly was, um, let's say, the equivalent of a black person from the hood being able to speak so well. If you ever wanted to see the embodiment of having to work twice as hard for the same results of other contemporaries, then she's it. And not taking anything away from Tanya Hardy, but if ever there was a story to be made about someone in the world of figure skating not fitting the mold of the so-called Ice Princess, Bonnelly's was a film to be made yesterday. Between these institutions of black filmmaking alone, this could be shot and wrapped in just in time for the next Oscar season. Moreover, I've already chronicled a few contenders who'd be perfect for her role. Look, I've done half the work already i can even pump out a screenplay i'm just saying okay so thanks for watching you know this was going to be part of the regular sunday rotation to be premiered sometime in the near future that is until i realized that she was an exceptional case and needed to be done now hence her placement on the rare special edition i'm glad it worked out this way for one it effectively proves that this isn't just reserved for those who had unexpectedly passed and for another in light of recent events I felt it necessary to place a spotlight on her sooner rather than later. As stated above, 
Miss Bonnelly needs more recognition than in one episode on, in her case, a misleadingly titled series. Not taken away from the shine she received on the massive platform that is Netflix, especially in comparison to, um, uh, but, and maybe this is just wishful thinking, I'm looking to see her biographical drama, which was a moderate success at the box office and won an Oscar for Best Original Screenplay, to be in my suggested queue. I mean, that can happen, right? And on that note, be sure to leave a comment suggesting who I should do next and stay tuned. And if you like what you've seen and want more, be sure to like and share. Get more people to like, share, subscribe, and click on that notification bell so you know when I'll drop another nugget. Until then, stay awesome.